Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be raising a complex number to the 99th power. And I'll be presenting three methods. All right, let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'd like to use the binomial theorem. Are you familiar with the binomial formula? It's kind of like this, A plus B to the nth power is gonna be n choose zero, a to the n, plus n choose one, a to the power n minus one, b, so on and so forth. So if you apply this to the 99th power, you're going to have 100 terms. So this is what it looks like when you do it. Good luck with that. So if you expand one minus i to the 99th power, you're gonna have 100 terms. If you simplify each and every one of them, and of course, i to the sixth power, for example, is going to be i squared, which is negative one. i to the fifth is i, so on and so forth. That's going to be a ton of work. Obviously, you don't want to do it this way, right? Okay. Even though this is a method, it's not recommended. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So the second method, and what was the problem? One minus i to the power 99. That's what we're trying to find. Okay. You're th probably thinking, there must be a better way to do it. Remember in our lecture videos, if you haven't seen them, check them out. We talked about different properties. We talked about different forms, standard form, and then polar form using Euler's formula, so on and so forth. And we can actually go ahead and try to visualize this. What does one minus I look like on the coordinate plane? Well, it kind of looks like this, one comma negative one, right? This represents one, this represents negative i, and this is what one minus i looks like. We can go ahead and connect it to the origin, and the distance between these two points gives us what is called the modulus of this number. So if we call this number z, then r would be square root of two from here, and the theta would be the angle. It's defined as follows, the positive angle uh, that's like this. And that will be pi over 4 short of 2 pi. So if you subtract pi over 4 from 2 pi, you're going to get 7 pi over 4. So theta would be 7 pi over 4. And polar form tells us that we can write z as r times e to the power i theta. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. 1 minus i will be replaced with square root of 2 times e to the power i times 7 pi over 4. Awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and simplify this, right, obviously. First of all, we need to raise it to the power 99. That's gonna be some work, isn't it? Let's go ahead and raise it to the power 99. But what is one cool thing about this is the Mo, the Moa formula, the Moiver, I can never say that in French, but you get the idea, hopefully. Uh, tells us that you can just raise R to the power 99, so like this and then just raise the other one. And this is exponential, so it's easy. All you have to do is multiply seven times 99 and then multiply by pi over four, that's it. So all we have to do is multiply seven by 99, which is by the way, uh, seven times 100 minus seven, which is 700 minus seven, which is 693. So it's gonna look like this, square root of two to the power 99, multiply by e to the power i times 693 pi over 4. Awesome. Obviously, that's a very, very large number, but think about it. 2 pi is equivalent to 0 because as you make rotations, you're going to get to the same point over and over. So all we have to care about is how many 2 pi's will go into this, right? So in other words, if we can go ahead and break this down, like how do you break it down? So first of all, think about what happens if 693 is divided by four, what's the remainder, right? It's an odd number. So let's go ahead and do that first. Is 60, 692 divisible by four, first of all, right? Half of this number is gonna be 346. And of course you can cut that in half again, which tells you that it's divisible by four. So it's gonna look like this. Uh, if you divide it by two again, 173. Okay, so that's gonna be 173 times four. So in other words, this is, e to the power i times 173 pi. That's good because, oh, oops, we forgot one of the pi's over four, so plus pi over four, of course, right? Okay, here we go. This makes more sense. Now, this is gonna give us pretty much the answer, but uh, we kind of have to think about the remainders. 
Now 173 pi is not a multiple of 2 pi because 173 is odd. So pick another pi from it and then we can write it as 172 pi plus pi plus pi over 4 is going to be 5 pi over 4. Make sense? And then we're going to multiply that by square root of 2 to the power 99. All right? Cool, cool. Now, what does this look like when you simplify it? That's a good question. Uh, 172 pi, first of all, this is a multiple of 2 pi, so that's going to be equivalent to 0. We can totally forget about it and just focus on 5 pi over 4. All right? So let's go ahead and find out what that's going to look like. Well, 5 pi over 4 is going to be pi plus pi over 4, so it's going to be here, and that's basically going to give us uh, a number in the fourth quadrant, and it's going to be the negative 1 minus i. Make sense? This is a negative 1, that's a minus i, so it's just going to be negative 1 minus i. Okay, cool. But we can take out the negative and write it as uh, 1 plus i, so eventually it can be written as follows. But here's what I'd like to do. Uh, square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 to the power 98 because this is 2 to the power 49, right? Because square root of 2 squared and then to the 49th power. So we can write it like this and then multiply this by e to the power i times 5 pi over 4. Again, you can express this in so many different ways like I said earlier. You can take out a negative and then once you do, you're going to have a 1 plus i from here and then negative 2 to the 49 times root 2 times this as your final answer. Make sense? Okay, and obviously uh, we're going to go ahead and compare this to the other answer that we find. Okay, cool. Now, oh, by the way, one thing to, we shouldn't forget, there's going to be another square root of 2 over 2 that comes from here, which is going to cancel out, and this is going to give us 1, so the answer, final answer is going to be this one. Not that one, okay? Be careful because uh, this uh, is going to give us an, what is it called? An R uh, additional uh, value. Okay? Cool. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the third method, shall we? Now, third method is supposed to be the nicest, right? Okay, let's see how that goes. Well, 1 minus i is kind of special. I hope you noticed. First of all, to find something to the 99th power, I'm thinking about, can I just look at smaller powers? Like, what about 1 minus i squared? Have you seen this before? If you expand it, you're going to get 1 minus 2i plus i squared. As you know, or you should know, please check out the you know, lecture videos if you don't are not familiar with complex numbers. i squared is negative 1, and this gives you negative 2i. So that's nice. When you raise 1 minus i, and this comes from polar form, so on and so forth, but when you square it, you get an imaginary number, which is nice. Because now I can do the following. 1 minus i to the power 99 can be written as 1 minus i squared to the power 49, which is going to give us the 98th power, and then multiply by an additional 1 minus i, and you're good to go. Make sense? Now, 1 minus i squared is 2i, or negative 2i, I should say. Negative 2i, and then I just need to raise it to the power 49, and then multiply by 1 minus i, and then this is going to give you the same thing because when you raise this, it's going to be negative 2 to the power 49, which is negative. Then i to the power 49, which is the same as i because 48 is divisible by 4, so it just leaves a remainder of 1. So you're going to get negative 2 to the power 49 times i times 1 minus i. And if you distribute the i, you're going to get i minus i squared, and i squared is negative 1, so this is going to be the same as before, negative 2 to the power 49 times 1 plus i. And that's pretty much going to give you the answer. But before we finish, let's go ahead and take a look at something. Wow, this is the result, and you can imagine how large 2 to the power 49 is going to be. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.